Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. I'm sure you guys are appreciating these uh, these trike rides. Uh, a, a large percentage of you. While I'm here in uh, Oregon, I'm taking rides with my uh, friend Mel and Janet who own uh, Recumbent PDX. And so today we're going on a bit of a group ride. We're gonna have some fun. We got Pat with us and Mel and Janet and a bunch of people I haven't met yet. So we're gonna go for a ride here in Portland, make some videos. It is warm. Before I came to uh, to Portland, I thought I thought this area, this part of the United States, was like freezing cold. I I thought of more Fargo than uh, than Portland. Let's just Riding around Portland is really nice, and the weather today is fantastic. So, I figured this would be a great time to whip out the drone. There you are. Yeah, yeah, I just had to land it. This is nice. Yeah, this is, is this, this is normal? This seems a little out of. Um, yeah, generally this time of year, uh, it's drizzling for, I don't know, six months or so which is fine because if you come in to portland in may everything's in bloom everything's i think we'll take a right turn i think i saw them go yep. that way i mean like in bloom in a ridiculous way yeah we have an interesting group of riders today and they're all trying some some sort of different trikes right we got some people on some uh powered trikes and then some people on some standardized yeah well we uh <laughs> Normally we have, I don't know, four or five different trikes in the shop that have motors on them. So we generally have two Bosches and 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 two of our house motor, which is a Buffang. Um, we'll have two of them on, you know, so we'll have four. Sometimes folks like, to, you know, couples will go yeah. out and it's nice to have two trikes and say, well, you can both ride motor trikes, either Bosch or Buffang at the same time. Well, that was good timing. I'm on your left. I'm sorry. That's the train to Los Angeles. Oh, that's going to LA? Yeah. So the cool shot, I think, is uh, is coming across the water and then coming up to... guys don't know Portland is really popular with this sort of mode of transportation Pat the gentleman uh, ahead of me really really nice guy he owns a company called T-Cycle uh, TerraCycle most of you guys if you're involved in triking at all know him already but I used a lot of his components when I was cycling around the world make storing my stuff or having like little handlebars all sorts of cool accessories for trikes and stuff so when I got to Portland I reached out to them and it was almost like we've been friends for a very long time. But also there's other people in the trike community that I've connected with too. It's, it's been really nice.
We're on the bridge here. There's some beautiful houses that are right on the river. If you look at those pylons, the water can rise up all that way. And then if you look the other way, you can see that's Mount St. Helens way over there. All right, Janet, where are we? We are at Oaks Park, Oaks Portland's, Park. where Portland comes to have fun in the summer at the amusement park yeah. and roller skate all year round. So there's a roller rink in there? Yes, there is. Oh, many a birthday boy. party, many a day rolling around to the tunes. And uh, the biggest, biggest, bestest roller coaster in town. Well, you no, know, the, the biggest, bestest in the country. Oh, I mean, uh, other than, uh, like uh, I said, the. Uh, the, you, you can see you'd have to fly the drone, but it's pretty massive. Yeah. The yeah, people yeah. people from Coney Island come out here and marvel. I yeah. dread. I can look at it and I dread that clicking sound as you're as you're rising up over the over the berm. There, they have a picnic area with fields where an organization that we support, We the Walk, has an annual event for all of their participants who are young people with mobility constraints who are out riding some sort of wheeled fun convention and there's just a picnic and a ride together and it's really fun and that's just the place to come for outdoor community community yeah event. this place sort of reminds me of uh <laughs> of that amusement park in uh, Chongqing. Do you guys remember that place? They had abandoned one? Or maybe the abandoned aquarium and amusement park in Vietnam. <laughs> if you guys want to see a cool episode, put Vietnam water park abandoned, Jayo. That's a cool video. A few times and I love it. Green Daisy. Was it green? Okay. <laughs> no, 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 I was green. Follow this place. <laughs> Coming through. That's our mantra. So she's our escort? She is. She's showing us the best way to go through the parking lot Watch behind the, the ring. Car. So you pulled some strings. You're... You guys got some clout around here. That's okay, that's okay. Hey Matt, yeah. I didn't undersell this roller coaster, did I? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this thing amazing. It's insane. It's insane. It is called Adrenaline Peak, and uh, there's a reason. There is called. peak adrenaline all over that thing. Yes, it's Adrenaline Peak, and it is an adrenaline rush. Yeah. So it's number of throw-ups per day. Uh, oh, a few. <laughs> <laughs> we, we call it a protein spill. Uh, a protein <laughs> spill. Radio, it's like, yeah, we got a protein spill and adrenaline. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> 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 it's not pretty. <laughs> oh, we've seen street pizzas before. <laughs> street pizzas? <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Cross over the tracks, imagine. Here we go. Well, I rode a, I rode an earlier model one uh, riding. Uh, I didn't ride it. <laughs> the gyro wasn't quite right. It was impossible to get up. We're talking about the uh, one wheels. They have these. Uh, one wheel like between your between your legs you hold onto it and then there's a one wheel that's like a skateboard with one wheel. They're wild man. So I came across a video of them racing the one wheels. The ones between on, your legs? On a, on a track, yeah. Okay. And they had some spectacular wipeouts. Oh, I corner, bet. Corners too hot and stuff like that. And what do you do? You tumble. You tumble ass over teeth. Yeah. That's what you do. <laughs> that sounds that sounds painful. More painful than, say, a bike. You got nothing in front of you. Yeah, yeah, you got no cage around you. You just flop it around like a rag doll. Yeah, give me a trike. I'm good with a trike. You know, it's really nice to be able to kick back and relax and not have to worry about road conditions. You yeah. Know? 
I think this trike saved my life. Yep. I mean, if I would have been hit and I was on a bike at that time, I would have flown right off into that vehicle. Yeah. Instead, yeah. I kind of stayed with the trike as it tumbled down the street. Well, the trailer probably helped you too. Well, the buffer of the trailer for sure. For I'll, I'll link to that if you guys want to watch my accident. Sadists. It's, it's a cult classic. When it comes to <laughs> Is it? Yeah, oh yeah. People Juice. come across that and it's like, oh my god. Do you see, Matt? Do I turn people off trikes or do I turn them onto trikes? Is, is what I wonder. Oh, uh, that's a good question. Do they see that video? What do you think, Mel? Which video? The one where I had the accident and I'm in the road in China. Uh, Did that turn people onto trikes or off to trikes? Oh, if you're Brazilian, it turned you on. <laughs> Brazilian. Okay. Oh, I love the danger. It is oh, so yes. Sexy. It, it definitely conveys your attitude towards life, though, Matt. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're laying there filming. <laughs> <laughs> what else am I going to do? I just got hit. I can't really move. I think my collarbone is busted. Yeah, it's busted. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to tell you all about it. <laughs> and then the doctors come and, like, toss me onto a back, onto a, not even a backboard. They just toss me onto a bed. I'm like, man, if I really had a broken neck, I would have been dead. Oh, well, looks like somebody had a, yeah, the had their man. camp slidden down. Man, there's so many homeless around here. It's, 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 un it's so crazy. Oh, what is this? Is this a mirror? Ah. <laughs> Free mirror. Free mirror. <laughs> Got a mirror. I'll put that in my pocket. Put a recumbent PDX logo on that thing. <laughs> Sell it for ten bucks. Yeah, Pat back there. He's the he's a resident uh, historian for everything uh, everything Portland and probably outside of everything Portland, everything Southern Washington. I've lived in Oregon for thirty four years now. You pick up no, a no, few Portland for thirty four years. Okay. Oregon for forty one. Hello. So you pick up a couple of things. I learned a few things. Yeah. Uh, remembered a few things forgotten a lot more <laughs> well as long as you're learning more than you're forgetting you're all right that's why I make videos because I think I'm pretty much gonna forget everything anyways might as well let somebody remember it Mel is Mel is me in a few years <laughs> I don't know exactly what that means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so my buddy Mel here oh Pat where's Mel my buddy Mel owns a recumbent shop recumbent PDX that we started this Whole adventure at and so he's he lent us a few trikes to have some fun with so that was quite nice the ride is going to be coming to a close pretty soon we'll arrive at Rakuma PDX and that'll be the end of today's episode like subscribe share did you enjoy this ride I did the light was a little harsh ordinarily I kind of like it around right about now actually would be better light because uh, when that when that Sun is low in the sky it just glares on everything but hope you liked it Chayo. I'll leave links to T-Cycle and uh, Recumbent PDX in the description check them out if you're in Portland you'll see my van in a second that big white van in the street there, in front of Mel's house, that's mine. I'm turning it into a, a mobile, world traveling, podcasting and video production studio. It's a work in progress though. <laughs>